Mobile boosters in the UK. Are they legal? One of the common questions we get asked is are mobile boosters legal in the UK? The confusion is because for some time mobile boosters were illegal to install and use in the UK. However, these rules and guidelines have changed in the past two years to make mobile boosters legal in the UK. In April 2018 the Wireless Telegraphy, Mobile Repeater, Exemption, Regulations 2018 came into an act which outlines to legal use of mobile repeaters. The regulations were focused on two areas of installation. 1. Static boosters for indoor applications. 2. Boosters are used within motor vehicles. The Ofcom website outlines the clarification of the legality of these repeaters. The first are known as static mobile phone repeaters. These are for indoor use and are designed to improve coverage inside people's homes, offices, and other buildings. They must not be used in other situations. For example, while in motion, such as in a vehicle. The downlink, from these repeaters, the part that connects the repeater to the mobile phone, must not be used outside or in semi-open locations. It must be used inside a building which has a ceiling or a roof. The uplink, the part that connects the repeaters to the mobile phone network, can be used either indoors or outdoors. This type of repeater may not be helpful in all situations. However, they can help to boost indoor signals in situations where there is reasonable mobile coverage just outside the building, but indoor coverage is not good enough. We have restricted these types of repeaters so they amplify the signal from only one mobile phone network at a time. However, they may be reconfigured to a different network. The important clarification from these Ofcom regulations is that the system is only allowed and designed to amplify the mobile phone signal from one mobile phone network at one time. In addition to this, the mobile booster system must be adhered to the following. No other networks must be interfered with by the booster. The boosters are adhering with the license conditions of the mobile network operator and that they can control them to turn them on or off or to configure them. The system can be reconfigured to a different network provider but can only broadcast a single provider at any one time. The system must also be able to boost 2G, 3G, and 4G at all times, and therefore 4 grams only mobile may not and are probably not conforming. Mobile repeaters that boost more than one operator at a time do not comply with Ofcom rules and regulations. Do mobile repeaters work? It is important to remember that mobile repeaters are exactly that, they repeat the signal they receive at its external antenna. They take that signal and then repeat it to other areas of the building. Therefore if you have good mobile coverage external to your building, the installation of an external mobile antenna will receive that signal. Then this follows with the installation of data cabling and internal mobile repeater access points. This results in you will be achieving total mobile coverage within your building. License exempt mobile phone repeaters. The range of mobile repeaters we install all comply with the Ofcom regulations and the requirements of the mobile phone providers. Solutions will vary on the location, size of the building, and coverage requirements. However, in all cases, there is a solution that we can recommend, design, and install for you. The whole solution from the external aerial, through to the internal repeaters are part of the installation. In addition, the associated data cabling and power requirements complete the work. For further assistance or a free survey, please email or call on the details below, and click like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video.